Hi guys, it's Misty here from Bookaholics Book Club and I'm here to do a review. Uh, this is my first ever video review so if I start rambling on that's why. Uh, the review is for issue 3 of Grit City by Ron Gavalik. Um, you may already know I've read the first couple of issues and I really like them and uh, I've done some reviews for them which I'll leave links to uh, but I said I'd do a video one for this so here goes um, a bit about Grit City it's a serialised Emoto book uh, what that is obviously serialised is there's a bit out each month that usually comes out on the first uh, the Emoto book it's the first of its kind uh, basically when characters are shown like intense emotions, there are little images to sort kind of capture that emotion. Uh, it's just it's really interesting. They're quite abstract and open to interpretation. I want to show you one. Actually, this is it on my Kindle. Um, it's black and white, but you can see the pictures do come out really nice. Um, I had trouble fight picking my favourite for issue 3 because the images in this issue are really my favourite, they're really good. It is really nice but I want to show it you on my iPad, just, I don't know how you can see that, see the colour in it, uh, if I make it bigger, you can make it bigger and there's lots of colour out here, uh, it says, oh, no it's not going small, close that, she'd suppress all feelings but fury. Now, as you can see, the re it's got a lot of red in it because of the fury, I would say. But there's a lot of smoke, and I think that would represent a darker side to the character it's talking about. I don't want to give too much away. But that's just uh, an example of the pictures. Though I think they're just really interesting. Um, the, and the book itself, of course, is really good. Um, I'll tell you a bit about that now. Uh, it follows Dylan. He is an investigative reporter, and it also follows Elisa, who's a, a hired gun. Uh, she's pretty kick-ass. I'd be scared of her if I knew her. Um, it's set in Grit City. It's um, kind of like a noir, a modern-day noir. It really reads like one. Uh, but this latest issue is starting to introduce a bit of a fantasy element that's really interesting. I have no idea what's going on. It's really interesting, though. I really want to see issue four and see what's happened to Dylan. Um, the writing is really good too. That's what obviously pulled me in to the first issue. Not just that it's something different, but the book itself is good. I would read it, you know, without, you know, the pictures and stuff. They just, they're like an extra bonus. They make it really different. But the book, yeah, it's really good. It's quite, it's an adult read. I wouldn't give it to kids. It's quite gruesome some bits it kind of reminds me of um if you've seen sin city or the latest batman movies which i've seen because my husband that's why i've seen them all it's kind of reminds me a lot like those the uh the darker elements um good city reminds me of gotham city you know in the latest films with christian bale it's really it's very dark like that it's you know controlled by the mafia kind of thing and it's just it's really good um i definitely would recommend that you read it uh the it doesn't cost very much you can get it on amazon kindle you can get it on smashwords and you know put it on your nook or and that's what you have in america right <laughs> and everything and yeah it's just i would definitely recommend you go out and give issue one a try it doesn't cost very much i wanted to give one away but we can't gift kindle books over here in the uk so you'll just have to buy your own um i think that's about it yeah thanks for watching <laughs> bye